Hey guys, so good to see you 2000, and today I'm going to review Ultimate Wild Mud. Now, I haven't seen too many reviews of him out yet, but there is a, a good amount of um, reviews of him, so I decided to uh, make one. Okay, so Ultimate Wild Mud. He doesn't come with a disc alien, but now he's coming. Up, uh, now the figures are coming out with the with the um, minifigures, and he has a little minifigure that goes on the Revolutionary Ultimatrix. I do not have the Revolutionary Ultimatrix, but when I get it, I will test this out. So, yeah, just give you a little 360 look around this. It's uh, Ultimate Wild Mutt in his sitting up pose. Yeah, okay. Um, here is Ultimate Wild Mutt himself. He has all the same articulation as the um, original Wild Mutt. His mouth can open up and close. His head can move three, uh, 360 degrees. Um, and he has one articulation that the original one doesn't have, which is the tail, that can move 360 degrees. And his arms can move 360, or his legs, whatever you like to call it. Except for his back legs. His back legs, all, his back legs only go backwards and forward. Backwards and forward. And he also has the Ultimatrix symbol on him. Um, he is really cool. He's, um... He was in the episode, um, I believe it was uh, Prisoner um, 105 or 115, something, or 151 was missing, something like that. But he was in that episode, I believe. And he's actually pretty cool. I actually um, hate to say this, but I like him better than the original Wild Mutt. Um, just because of his paint job, the amount of detail they put into this thing. And looks just like the one from the show. And yes, Ultimate Wild Mutt can talk, but the original Wild Mutt did not. And I can also give you guys some comparisons. So here's the original Wild Mutt. Now, the original Wild Mutt, um, he has the same articulation as the other one, except he doesn't have the tail. His mouth can open up and close. His head can go 360 degrees. His arms can go 360 degrees as well. And his legs can go... Um, backwards and forward. Yeah. Um, and this is the original Walmart, like I said. Um, and so it's like the Omnitrix symbol right here. Um, but I think Bandai should release, um, an Ultimate Alien version of Wild Mutt. So, that'd be pretty cool. It would just be the same thing as him, except he would have the Omnitrix symbol here, other than here. But, yeah, it's still cool. So, i also give you guys some 360 look around both of them together. Yeah. Um, they pretty much have like the same design and everything, but like I said, this one looks a lot cooler. It has different um, designs and everything. Even look at this. Um, he has some like fur here or spikes. I don't know what that is. And here, um, this one has these cool like shark like fins or whatever that are right here, and he has these two giant teeth that uh, come out, and this one just has little teeth. Um, it's, it's really cool. Even though this one's arms are not as big as this guy, um, this one is still um, worth it. And, um, yeah, uh, he's definitely um, worth picking up in the store if you find him. So, yeah. Um, also, uh, this is... Um, I also want to know if uh, you guys, I, I want to know from you guys what figure I should review next. Just tell me, and I will do it. And it doesn't even have to be Ben 10, it could be anything else. Um, so just um, tell me what to review next, and I will do it. Or I'll just kind of keep on doing whatever I want to do. Um, but it's up to you guys, okay? So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Please stay tuned, uh, make sure to subscribe. Click on the ad on the right, and also um, rate this uh, video uh, a thumbs up or thumbs down, and you can comment on this. I think I already said that. And also, you can favor this if you like. Okay, guys, so um, join me in my next videos. I will have some more Ben 10 uh, videos, and I, um, I also have some, uh, I think I'll be reviewing some of the McDonald's ones as well that came out. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, like I said, and uh, have a nice day. Bye, guys.